This in-service video will cover the clinical techniques needed to use the Visigy calibration system in bariatric procedures. Visigy is a single insertion device meant to replace many other transoral tubes, such as an orogastric tube, endoscope, or reusable bougie. Visigy and Visigy for bypass come in three sizes, 32, 36, and 40 French. Confirm with your surgeon that you have their preferred size and model. It can also be purchased with the blue bulb used for air leak tests. Stapling and dwelling temperature probes is a risk when performing bariatric procedures. If temperature monitoring is warranted for these shorter elective procedures, consider the use of a forehead probe rather than an indwelling temperature probe. If an indwelling temperature probe is required, note the depth of placement and externally tape the probe in place. Before any staple loads are fired, ensure the placement of the probe has not changed. Visigy comes with an open valve in the package. When looking down the barrel, you should be able to see through the valve. To close the valve, push the valve in the direction of the arrow. When the Visigy valve is closed, the passage is blocked and the stomach is vented. Use this valve to apply or remove suction. Do not use the controls on your suction source. The integral suction control of Visigy ensures that high suction is reduced to a clinically safe and effective 125 millimeters of mercury. Apply a generous amount of surgical lubricant to the distal end of the Visigy. The lubricant will not clog the holes. To advance the VisG, ensure the valve is in the closed position. The VisG should be inserted after the patient has been intubated while the room lights are still on. It is placed like a standard weighted bougie. Use the same alignment techniques to open the soft palate. You can insert the VisG blind or under direct visualization. The VisG has depth insertion marks at 30, 40, and 50 centimeters. If you are inserting the VisG blindly, Stop when you see gastric secretions inside the device or stop at the 50 centimeter mark. Once fully inserted, connect the device to suction and remove any gastric contents to decompress the stomach fully. Be sure that the VisG is in place before docking the robot for robotic procedures. Anytime you're removing the VisG, suction needs to be off. Use slow, purposeful movements while visualizing on the surgical field screen. Before stapling, Make sure the exact location the VisG is known and that is not the path of the stapler. Disconnect suction before the last staple firing. This will allow ample time for the stomach to vent any suction before removal of the VisG. We will now discuss the multiple ways to perform leak testing with VisG. If your surgeon elects air leak testing, return the patient to supine position. The surgeon will fill the abdomen with saline to submerge the new staple line looking for air bubbles. Disconnect the suction from the VisG Put the valve in the open position and attach the blue bulb. Gently pump the blue bulb as directed by the surgeon, with the ideal zone being 35 to 45 millimeters of mercury. If you are unable to achieve these pressures, or if your surgeon desires more pressure, you may need to use light cricoid pressure. If this is still insufficient, the surgeon will need to place an instrument across the duodenum. For leak testing with methylene blue or ICG, mix these liquids per the surgeon's orders and prep two 60 millimeter Tumi syringes. Remove the suction tubing from VisG and make sure that the valve is in the open position. Holding VisG vertically in your non-dominant hand, use your dominant hand to administer the first syringe with slow, deliberate pressure. Without moving your non-dominant hand, retrieve the second syringe and administer per your surgeon's direction. Once leak testing is completed, Reattach suction to remove the liquid or air you just instilled. If not leak testing, or if an endoscope is to be used, close the valve and slowly remove the VisG. Once the fenestrations are visible in the oropharynx, open the valve to turn suction back on and use the device as you would an oral yank hour to suction the oropharynx. Dispose of VisG per your hospital's protocol. This in-service video is not intended to replace the complete instructions for use, which may be found on the product's website.